Hi kids. Let's try this again. Goddamn timer. Okay, it says 10.02. This is my Friday night. Why? Because <laughs> vacation started at 4.30 today. I didn't start this at 4.30. And uh, it was actually to break some weird thing where I smoke but don't drink. Vacation is the fabulous, most exciting time of the year, next to when your kids go off to school. Okay, subject of the evening, about really fucking dumb people. Somewhere Darwin's smiling, and let me tell you why. Because yesterday, some genius decided to break into a mobile home to rob the place. That's right, a mobile home. Um, okay, I don't know why you'd want to steal from poor people, but... Uh, you know... I've done this so many times, I could have sworn I watched the time last night. I think I already did this. <laughs> How fucked up's that? We can talk about something else though. Why don't we do that and then I'll find out later. Because we all know people are stupid. That's not exactly news. The new news, terrorism. Terrorism in America. I should have made a little banner. I could hold it up. Ah. Uh, but no, I didn't. And, uh, you know, this may be weird, but we like catch these terrorists in England, right? And everybody's freaking the fuck out. Especially here in America. It's like the terrorists were over there and they were gonna blow up planes coming from England to America. So why all of a sudden does every American from, like, you know, buttfuck Springville flying to buttfuck Kansas anywhere need to, like, not take the lotion on the plane? There's no, there's no rhyme or reason. The money that we throw away on the the act of security, which is all it really is. It's fucking horseshit. You know, they found my Zippo lighter, but, uh, they couldn't, you know, I could have, I could have gotten a handgun on the plane. I bet money on it. I just would have, you know, nice little 22, just something little, put a hole through the window and suck everybody out, a little tiny hole in the plane. Yeah. Uh, could have got that in my backpack with, you know, just put it in my old trapper folder with all the pencils and calculator, confusing stuff that they don't really want to look at, you know? Fuck. Unbelievable. It really is. It's unbelievable that this horse shit goes on. But, you know, and it's, you know, I swear to God, the terrorists want George Bush and the Republican inept, well, because they're inept, but the whole fucking administration to just stay in power forever, and it's like, oh, fuck, it's uh, almost midterm elections over there in America. We should pull something. Either we get away with it or we don't, but at least if we get caught, they can go out there and, and everybody will be afraid, and I mean, we caught it. Uh, the terrorists won, people. You know that, right? The terrorists totally fucking won. We, uh, our whole entire lives have changed. Um, we now have to, like, 
you know, grandma's getting a rectal exam because they just picked her, uh, you know, happy number 325th person in line, grandma. You get a finger up your ass from security jelly finger boy with the big rubber gloves. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> and we can't profile anyone because that would be wrong. So, yeah, um... When you see, you know, Ben and Jen in line at the airport, be sure to rummage through all their shit. That's, you know, they're definitely terrorists, right? Okay, whatever. And don't star on me with the whole fucking, they're not together. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck about their personal lives, really. I don't watch Access Hollywood or care who's kissing who or who's squirting out kids or fucking Tom Cruise is a fucking idiot, okay? Who cares? No, it's sad, dude, because I like Tom Cruise's work, but I wouldn't even, I wouldn't want to have a beer with him. <laughs> no. No. I don't think I can stand to be around the motherfucker for more than ten minutes. Especially if he started jumping on my couch, I'd fucking beat his ass. <sighs> I thought that feels better already. Anyway, uh, what more can we bitch about? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> You know, and every time the terrorists fucking bolster up George Bush and his, we're safer. We haven't been hit since I've been in, uh, pardon me? Who is, uh, the president? Oh, I don't know, September 11th, 2001. Cocksucker. Yeah, you tarred biscuit. Fucking who ties your shoes in the morning? That's a question I want to know. If they had that on Access Hollywood, I might fucking watch it. You know, this dude ties the president's shoes every morning. Oh. It drives me to drink, but it's a very short trip. Anyway. Uh, last couple of minutes here. I want to give one shout out to, uh, well, to Sandra. Sandra, I want to take you to dinner and a movie. I, I want to live in your basement and work at the castle so I can take you to dinner and a movie every Friday and Saturday night. Okay, Friday we'll have to stay home because it's space night on sci-fi but Saturday night we'll go to dinner and a movie because there's absolutely nothing on Saturdays they all, you know, all the stations know that everybody's out having fun with me so if I can uh, build it, I, I'm thinking that what I'll do is I'll get one of those rafts from the Cubans that, you know that would make them out of old milk cartons and popsicle sticks and uh I'll just use, like, one of those, you know, um, I'll get, like, an old broom handle and cut off all the bristles and use that as an oar, and I'll row over there, and, uh, when some retard washes up in Greenland, dead with the old broom in his hand, you know what happened to me. So in conclusion, um, I guess that's good night now.